I had three real meetings. Uh, they tried to go to relationship, a romantic relationship with me more quickly than we know each other. And they started to talk very fastly about the sexual topics and how they like me. And this has actually made me very confused. Wow, <laughs> I don't know really how to meet a um, right like quality person who will share my mindset or at least will try to understand my mindset. Do young, beautiful Ukrainian woman living in Europe need help to find a husband? I can share you uh, my experience, why I uh, personally joined the uh, Magic Karen team. So while this war, I um, decided to stay in UK. And here in UK, I came alone and I don't have like a husband back home, I don't have any children, and I'm just still 25, I just turned 25 this year, so I was like 24, and for me life just like, not just began for sure, but I'm still like, uh, was doing my career back home in Ukraine, was living my best life, very uh, easy life for me, and uh, was happy with this, with my friends, with my uh, job, with like daily life. And of course I dated like some guys, but for me, uh, these dates, they won't lead like one date, two date, they won't lead me to marriage with this person. I just need to know this person more. So I still have some guys which I respect, which uh, we are in good uh, relationships, but we like not uh, not started any romantic relationships. Uh, then I went outside of Ukraine, obviously because of war, and uh, like I uh, first of all I just been waiting for war, war finish, and that's all. I waited in Germany in refugee camp, and uh, when I realized like war keep going, I need to do something with my life, and I need to find a job for myself because I love lost my job, and. Uh, I uh, also decided, like, uh, um, I'm going to UK, because UK program started later. As I can speak English, and that's mm -hmm. the main reason. And England more close by to Ukraine. And then I came to UK, and I settled down a bit, uh, found a job, and um, living here, like, with a family, getting used to this culture, getting used to this mentality. Uh, and uh, then uh, the story began. Like I, I decided. Oh, I really interested. Like uh, interested to maybe have some um, relationship. Maybe this will be friendly relationship. Maybe maybe this will lead me to the dating and to the like um, romantic relationships. So I become more, you know, um, fine in my mind. Not so much like stressed as before. And uh, thought like, oh, this time like I can start like dating. Uh, mostly like I met people online, and I'm not even remembering any situation. Here, someone met meet me on the street and uh, asked me for a date or something. I'm not seeing here this is popular or something. I don't really understand yet. Then I started and uh, registered it with uh, Tinder. If you know this website, I'm not doing like a promotion here, but I just sharing my story uh, because I uh, used to do this uh, and register with Tinder in Ukraine back home. And uh, on Tinder, I met some um, several very nice people, which I'm still in connection and we are like nice friends and one of the person I've been in a romantic relationships. I had three real meetings and uh, what I see, what I can say, like, I see that guys like me and uh, I can say, like, uh, they was lovely, but there is some uh, things, I don't know, it's about ment mentality, different uh, nation, so I'm seeing like they started to be more, uh, they tried to go to relationship, a romantic relationship with me more quickly than we know each other. And then we even become like, not like best friends, but at least we have some um, communication and know each other lots. And 
he deserved my trust. This is, did not happen, and they started to talk very fastly about the sexual topics and how they like me. And this has actually made me very confused. And then I realized, like, even speak at work about this with my colleagues, and I see, like, mm, there is different mentality and uh, guys more open and I think uh, actually like this society more open for such topics and they are doing this more quickly and girls more desperate for it and I'm very like different girl and say they, they made me like uh, they like me I've been like oh he is okay we can still meet like I kind of like him and they trying to deserve my hard by this kind of attraction to me and showing their sexual attraction very like hard and so this is nice i tried to explain like oh this is too quick for me and i'm from very different society and for me this is very strange and uh, this happened not one time and it's why like i see that something like very different uh, different going on here and what I think and what I see is we do this channel for you guys and we explain you Ukrainian culture and our ladies and what our mentality and what how we think and how we go into relationships. And we're not going easily to relationship with anyone we met or anyone who just interested in us. And this is was just my first experience and after this i decided like oh this is actually like i see that this not working for me i closed this uh, like i closed the uh, tinder profile and uh, i closed like um, some um, who writes me to social medias i decided to skip this for a while because i'm seeing that most of my age guys they are just interested in such fun which is uh, could be nice for me as friendly relationships but guys obviously not interested in friendly relationships who write to me with such points and then it's going to be like too confused so they just spending my time and their time and i decided okay i'm just stopping this communication stopping this communication and then i uh, realized myself like wow i don't know really how to meet a uh, right like quality person who will share my mindset or at least will try to understand my mindset and then much currently happened in my life and uh, i uh, after i made some live streams i've been thinking like uh, this is very nice because community here really understand and at least want to understand what Ukrainian woman, why they are different, what is difference, and really respect this. This is the most important because understand it's understand. Okay, I can explain it to uh, like to guys here, but they don't respect this or they just not used to it. And I see here woman uh, role more active in relationships than a man role, and it's why like. Uh, women as well, they're really like interested and first of all, they're interested about um, not about marriage, not about this, just for having fun or use, uh, um, try this experience with guys and so on. So very different mindset and I thought like, oh, this will be very hard for me and then I just give up. <laughs> and then, yeah, with much guarantee, I seen that here is a... Uh, some guys who really want to learn about Ukrainian culture and about uh, difference and what is like traditional country, but not like where everything forbidden. It's more like about modern, independent, traditional country. And I like this, like it's like a golden middle for me, our Ukraine and our traditions. And uh, for me, it become obvious that but through the match guarantee, I probably can meet the person uh, with a mindset I would like and who will be respect my mindset and uh, will be like a good quality like husband for me, not just like a um, partner for a night or how people live in here uh, and see in relationships here. So for me, this is very different. And it's why, yeah, then I joined the match guarantee and see that 
uh, intentions in the in the beginning of relationships when you just meet some people random people in your life um it's very like hard to meet the uh, right person with right intentions or this will take time and this is also like a reason why i decided to join match community so yeah i got the messages and requests for a no um, for from a guys who want to know me but they are uh, two guys like from USA and I um, decided to sincerely answer um, to the company that uh, I really like these profiles and I would like to meet these people but I'm not ready to move so far away right now I'm still right now like moved to different country and still not sure like <laughs> if I'm staying here what I'm doing and uh, not sure about my life and this war makes uh, so much brings so much stress and uh, <laughs> ruining all your life plans and uh, it's why I just said like uh, sincere that I would like to meet someone here in UK I can meet and I'm still here so I need a partner who will be close to me or who we can live this time like together if we share same vo values if we share same mindset uh, so yeah this is also very important for me and what I requested and uh, I understand it so also can take a time and um, mostly match guarantee clients it's uh, USA clients and this is what for this part of life when already there is so big changes in my life I'm not just ready mentally for that big change in my life to move that much abroad and uh, I just feel this will make me will put me in a very big stress so I'm really like open for uh, dating but for a uh, territorial <laughs> dating uh, here in UK or uh, after uh, I can meet with other guys if uh, war in Ukraine finish and um, I'll be back in Ukraine and match guarantee still will bring some uh, foreigners to Ukraine and we can meet we, we can have proper uh, proper connection so maybe also this gonna work but not like for now as I see and it's why as well like match guarantee having um, not like a hard times with me just uh, I have some specific request it's true um but yeah this is kind of like my experience and the main point like why young and beautiful ukrainian women need help it's about just save their time save their stress level and uh, find find the man who already know their uh, uh, culture and uh, have a real intentions and uh, I think this is very important. So, yeah, this is just my story. Hi, Juan Antonio. Hi, Julia. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I, just, I wanted to clarify some of the things. I've seen one of the videos from years ago that a lot of men who are married, they have girlfriends on the side. And then that's one of the reasons for that a lot of Ukrainian ladies get divorced is because many of their husbands cheat on them. You know some men yeah i think in every country you can find this yeah, kind exactly of man who cheating and feeling himself better when he can cheat on a side like this so this is also very depends on a man personality and i'm seeing this uh, when i choose my partner before uh, like his family and if he's what kind of um what roles his family have and playing and mm -hmm. if they still with each other or what the story behind him and what is his family what family he is from yeah. and this makes sense and um, gives me lots of um, answers even before i know him much more closer okay now now with regard to the people that you have met on online dating apps um generally speaking most of those men will want to be your friend or at least pretend to be your friend hoping for a chance for you to see them as something other than a friend hoping 
So if maybe if I'm maybe if I'm Yulia's friend for long enough, and I, because I know she's a tra traditional girl, and she didn't see me on our first date as a man that she would want to marry, maybe if I stick with her, and and I'm a friend with her long enough, eventually she's going to give me a chance to be more. That's I think that's what most men hope for when they get put in the friend zone, because that's essentially what you're talking about is men you've met on dating apps who are friends. Yeah, is that correct? Uh, yeah, and uh, I can say like um, I'm not uh, going to relationship very fast, and yeah. uh, for me this is just very important for begin. And oh, if, I, I say good for you. If men do not, uh, when I speak about this, and men do not accept this, then we just not go into any relationships. Hello, привет, and welcome to UkraineDating.tv. Our channel is the world's first of its kind, providing free live streaming every single day seven days a week with the real, genuine, beautiful Ukrainian ladies. Finally, now you have the opportunity to video chat live seven days a week with different, beautiful Ukrainian girls of all ages and walks of life. You get to ask all your deepest burning questions about all things Ukraine, Ukraine culture, Ukraine women and Ukraine current events. And if you come to enough of our live streams, you might just discover what makes us mysterious women tick. Guys, I think you understand we're like David fighting Goliath here to bring you the truth once and for all. Our channel's purpose is to debunk the myth and stigma created by the toxic paper letter scam industry. And we hope you agree the best way to accomplish that is by giving you the opportunity to video chat with average Ukrainian girls that represent the real women of Ukraine. And then you be the judge about what's real and what's not. Guys, please know that we're doing this all for you. So do me a favor and subscribe to our new channel and help us help you, your fellow man, and help us bring Goliath to his knees. So guys, can I ask you to share this video with all your friends? Only together we can make a difference, guys.